How you doing fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here and welcome to part eight of the series on how to build your PC, specifically a Z690 motherboard and a Intel 12 series generation processor. We're gonna go ahead and install the motherboard and get ready to install the cooler as well. So this part is pretty critical. You want to be really careful when you do this. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're almost there. Your PC's almost ready to go. So make sure you pay attention closely and watch every single step of the way. Now, personally, in these PC cases, just like Corsairs, they come with pre-applied thermal paste. You're more than welcome to use it. Now, personally, I don't like to use their thermal paste because it's just a really basic ceramic type of thermal paste. Typically, I like to use something like Arctic Silver. That is one of the best ones. If you don't have Arctic Silver, make sure you check out the description box down below as I also have it because what I will do is I will wipe off this thermal paste and I will particularly use Arctic Silver. So let's go ahead and get ready to install the motherboard. But in order to do that, make sure you have a Phillips head screwdriver. Specifically, I got a number two installed in this driver currently. And what you will need is what your case came with which will have motherboard screws. Your motherboard screws will have a very basic look to it, very simple look, very easy to differentiate because what they will look like is these very small type of screws. You don't wanna use any other screws that didn't come with your case because then you risk grounding out, grounding out your motherboard. And that's the last type of problem you want to run into, especially if you've gotten so far on this build already, you're going to use about nine screws when you do install this motherboard into your PC here. Let's lay this onto its side carefully. Make sure you are very careful with the pump. So when you look at your chassis, you're going to see that it's going to have certain areas where you can lay the motherboard on. Make sure you lay it right on top of the mounts that are already on your PC case. So that way, when you do sit your motherboard, you don't have to worry about shorting it. And make sure you take off the IO sticker in the back before installing it. The easiest tip I can give you is when you're installing this motherboard, make sure you just line up the IO plate in the back and usually it'll kind of click into place. As soon as it does, you can install each screw. It's about nine screws total. Some chassis will have one mount for you to where you don't have to put a screw so just make sure you pay attention to your pc's case chassis to see if it has that extra mount already for you in order to install the top three screws i had to remove the radiator as you notice so sometimes it's a trial and error when it does come into pc building so don't worry just do what you have to do in order to get it to work so as we get ready to install the CPU cooler, I'm grabbing some coffee filters because they are lint free and they are one of the best things you can do in order to remove thermal paste. Take off the plastic cover and wipe off what you can with the coffee filter. As you see, it came off pretty clean. So the next step, you gotta put the cover on just in case so you don't scratch anything and grab some alcohol to help you assist to wipe off the rest of any other thermal paste. Get your screws ready to mount your CPU cooler. So now you wanna grab a microfiber rag that is lint free to wipe off with alcohol to get the rest of the thermal paste off. What we're gonna do here is make sure to add wipe off the old thermal paste with alcohol with the microfiber rag just as i shown and the coffee filter and as you can see it's nice and clear to go and now we just need the thermal paste so for safety let's just put this plastic cover back on for now now when you simply just add the thermal paste just add a pea size But that should be perfect. Make sure to wipe off your leftover paste. Now, we simply install the cooler. 
you don't really have to push a lot of pressure. Make sure you're Make sure this is connected properly and it should go in this direction just like this So I usually like to go in a cross pattern when I do install a motherboard, install a cooler, just to make sure I got a nice, even, sitting cooler. And just like that, your cooler is now installed. Now we have the cooler in, we're just gonna unravel this wire tie here and you're gonna pre prep it to kind of send it back like you did with the fans. Just find your opening to where you can do so. You'll just simply pull it through. As you see in here, it's kind of hard to see, but the what you have to hook up the pump fan to is to the CPU fan right here. And it's really difficult angle to see here, but this is where we're gonna plug in the AIO wire. We're gonna hook it up to the CPU fan, as you can see, or you can hook it up to the AIO pump. Either way is an option. Of course, if you do the CPU fan side, you don't have to worry about the BIOS, but if you do the AIO pump, you're gonna have to go to the BIOS and go into ignore. So particularly for this PC, I'm gonna hook it up to the CPU fan side. right there as you see here we got a lot done here now this hooks up to the radiator of course here and then you have your AIO wire we just spoke about that is into the CPU fan now and we also have this in the back of the case and we're gonna connect that now all we have to do is connect this AIO wire here right to here follow that white tab and we will connect it that is in and we will make it much more neater once we get the chance now everything is completely wired up perfectly cpu cooler is now installed the very next step we're gonna have to do is hook up all the uh, front io wires and whatever wires that we need to hook up for the motherboard side and that will be in part nine of the series so I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy content just like this, make sure you go down to hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. If you know anybody else who wants to build a PC, make sure you share this very video or this playlist to make their build a little bit easier. And also make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. I look forward to seeing you on the very next video of this how to build a PC guide.